how impressed were you at this offensive line and how they handled the monsters up front of Kawan Short, um, Gerald McCoy, and Don Terry Poe? I look at it this Was way. Poe play? Poe play, right? I saw that fat piece of garbage in the middle. <laughs> that combine monster. <laughs> He's, I think he's number 95, and I thought I saw his fat <laughs> You do not like Don Terry Poe. He's a <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? After you hit that subscribe bell, be sure to head over to Sportscaster and join us every Saturday at 8 a.m. You can give that one a shot again. Yes, yeah, so the Bills offensive line. Um, I am okay. I was impressed. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna say no, and it's not solely to disagree with you. I'm gonna say no. I didn't finish. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Why are you clapping your hands? I'm just waiting for you to be done with the words coming out of your mouth. Uh, can you hear him all over this rain? So, uh, I, I I liked what I saw out of Feliciano. Damn, it's raining hard. Yeah, it is. I might have to pull over. I can't even see. Liked what I saw out of Feliciano. Yep. Long getting first meaningful reps there. Did, did, didn't do horrible. Didn't do horrible. Spain had a little, uh, but the turnstiles on the corners I had a little problem with. Okay. Okay. Four, understandable. Going against Bruce Irvin, speed guy. Understand that. We talked about it on the live, on the live feed on Sportscaster. If you're not a fan on Sportscaster, please head over to sportscaster.com backslash hashtag sports to become a fan. He had a little trouble. It's that's that's what happens. I understand that. But Deion Dawkins. Do I even need to say anything? Yes. Please continue. Listen, let, let me tell you about Deion Dawkins, what I observed about him. Okay. 18 plays he played. Okay. Three times he was left naked. You know what that means by I see he was left naked? He didn't have a tight end on his side or an H back over him. Okay? Three times. Two were runs. One was the, the screen pass to Beasley where he did this and just kicked out. Only three times they didn't have him covered up out of 18 plays. What does that tell you about your left tackle? Now I'm pissed off. Go ahead. I just see, you see you're brewing over there, and I already know I'm going to throw you out in the ring. All right. Go ahead. So, I, you're all jacked up. I'm Mountain Dew. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. Oh, my sister to kick you in the head. Go so, on. So, we're talking about grading the performance of the offensive line when the Bills had practiced against the same team for three days. Okay. Who would have the advantage, the offensive line or the defensive line? At some point, who has the advantage? Nobody. What do you mean, Nobody. You practice against the same team for three consecutive days. You know how to beat a lineman. You know how to beat a lineman. If you know how to block a guy, you know how to block a guy. It depends on who gets them to work in their favor. My, see, I, I disagree with you. You think the offensive line has, having that familiarity would be able to do more things. If you, if you played the same team four days in a row, the number of times that the defense is going to be able to pressure you is going to get less and less. Why? Because the line is going to be able to figure out how a guy beat you. He may have beat you on this move once, and you're like, okay, and he beat you on it again. Well, tomorrow you're gonna you're gonna be thinking about that all night, and then you're gonna come back up. You're gonna come back to the game the next day, and he's gonna do it to you again. He may beat you the first time. He's not gonna beat you the second time. To your point, I will concede the fact that they didn't blitz and they didn't run stunts. No, they just came straight at him. That's what I mean. That's easier to block. Right. I but you still gotta block them. You're telling me Gerald McCoy, for who he is, should have thrown Spencer Long around. He didn't. Kwan Short, Don Terry Poe should have manhandled Feliciano in Spain. They didn't. No. But it's, an, it's still a numbers game. 
Because you're talking, we're talking five on four. The problem is the Bills' offensive line have not. They never had that talent to do that. Because quality defensive linemen would just do simple moves to them and beat them. That didn't happen. But you 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 practiced against the same team the three days. I'm prior. saying they weren't doing anything exotic. But usually a Bills' offensive line, even if they have practiced against them. Would have gotten manhandled by that defensive line. Still. And, and maybe they did day one of practice. But we didn't hear about it. I heard Listen, about Cam's four picks. Heard about <laughs> that. And then did you see the video of Cam Newton afterwards? I, You know, here's the thing. People, talk trash. people were saying how disappointed they were in Ed Oliver for not standing up for himself. First off, you're a rookie. You shut your mouth. You're a rookie and that's Cam Newton. But two... You go ahead and you take that video and you, you slide that video under your pillow and you just wait because someday you're going to sit on Cam Newton's head and you're going to go, who's the <laughs> no. <laughs> that's it. You, that's, that's one of those things. As a rookie, you take it, you, don't, you keep your mouth shut. You just slide that under your pillow because, listen, Cam's still young. You're going to get plenty of chances to talk to Cam Newton on the field. So you just you slide that under your pillow. And you, you just wait. You just wait lot, your turn. A lot of people don't realize how commonplace that really is. All sure. of that trash talking. Yeah. Cam could have thrown six. Could have thrown six to, uh, picks. Yeah. Right. He still would have talked. Yeah. Someone said that him and Captain Munderland need a show. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, funny. Captain Munderland needs a stool. That's what he needs. <laughs> talking Cam Newton. But getting back to the offensive line, I I, I just want people to temper expectations. Because we've seen two games where, again, nothing really flashy was brought. But missing their two best linemen. Three, if you count four, not at right guard. You know what I mean? I, 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 get, your, I, get, your, I get what you're saying. I get, I get your point. Missing three of their best linemen against those four monsters. I don't care if they're not doing exotic blitzes. But they were coming straight out. I understand that. Any other, any other team, any other subpar offensive line, Short, McCoy, Poe, and Irvin would eat their lunch doing simple things. But how? But again, from an offensive standpoint, you're walking in. They're without Shaq Thompson. They're without Luke Keekley. So you're going. Well, they're only bringing four. Exactly. Eh, we've seen this all week. Eh. Do you have amnesia? Do you not remember the 2018 Buffalo Bills offensive line okay, where I when teams would bring four and own us? Yeah, oh, I very much remember that. Okay, well, they well, appreciate the small things. But how, <laughs> but how many of those guys are here, Mario? Huh? How many of those guys are still here? None. One. Dawkins? Dawkins. That's <laughs> someone Teller. I didn't always forget about Dawkins. I'm not counting Teller because he started out a he necessity. Did awesome. He did awesome yesterday. He lost his powers when he cut his hair. <laughs> He's not Samson. <laughs> Spain pissed me off. Why? Ah, stupid penalties. He got banged with a couple penalties the first game, too. Eh. Schmay, schmay, schmay. You smell gasoline? Yes. Whoops. But I see an old pickup truck in front of us. So I'm if, if we're playing the where do I think that's coming from game... Pretty confident it's the maroon slash rust colored pickup truck that we're about to pass. I'm just saying that, sure. I mean, you could talk about the, the we had some guys out from the starting line against Carolina, but you weren't seeing both packages. You, like, it's just, temp, I'm still in the temper expectation mode. Vanilla. Because, yeah, it's just, I hear like, you. what you see out of Allen, like, he's seeing right now, this is not what he's going to see during the season. It's going to get much more complicated during the season. True. So, like, the line's going to perform well. If the line doesn't perform well, if the line looks like Carolina's line right now, you got big problems because Carolina's line looked atrocious. Well, they're going against the Bills' first defensive line. so I understand that, but they were still bad. That they defensive line's bad. going to make a lot of lines look subpar. Yeah, Just letting you know. I agree with that because it's a nonstop freight train. you got the, you got the Phil's brothers – Immediately following at Oliver and Star, like it's the depth is stupid. Yeah, there's no yeah. weakness. No, 
Love setting the, the edge out there was nice too. But Daryl I mean, Johnson's just such a freak, man. He's screaming up this depth chart. They he will not make it through waivers. I love the the Daryl Johnson, and we talked about it on the um, we talked about that on Sportscaster too. We're talking about uh, Daryl yeah. Johnson and, and I mean Sweeney. The, sport, the uh, Sportscaster set. exclusive footage found Saturday uh, at eight a.m. Sportscaster.com backslash HX Sports. What is this? What is this sorcery that you speak of? <laughs> You mean the free exclusive content you can get on Sportscaster? Hundred percent. All I do is sign up with my email. That's it. That's phenomenal. I saw something yesterday. Yeah. Are we about to do a different episode? No. Okay. No, I'll, I'll save it. What? I'll save it. Uh, Let's finish this one. No, I've been done ten. I I was done ten minutes ago.